Okay, y'all, this is Mom. She wanted to talk real quickly about making good memories. Making good memories. Always, always, always with your loved one, with your spouse, with your children, with your friends. Make good memories. All those people that you are so used to calling up on the phone every day, or going shopping with, going out to eat with, coming over to their house. Make good memories with, with those people. And if you have all with them, take care of it because, see, you're not going to know how much they mean to you until they're gone. And by all means, if you got somebody sick that's a loved one, do everything that you can in this life that you can for them while they're still living. Because when they're gone, they're gone. And the worst thing that can happen, which I was looking at a little documentary the other day, and it just brought home something that's personal to me. When you think about that person that I love so much, that I enjoy being with so much, now I can't pick up the phone and call them and say, hey, come on, let's go for a ride. Hey, come on, let's go out for a bite to eat. Or that person that you just sit on the phone for two hours and talk to. Or that person that just come over and y'all might just sit around and have a meal. So my whole point is make good memories with your loved ones while you can. And if people aren't your loved ones, treat people well while you have the opportunity to do it because I'm telling you, one of these days, it's going to come a time when some of those favorite people are going to be gone, and you're going to need those memories to carry you through to the next day. So that's it. Just a tip. Just, just a hint to the wise. Okay. And I say that out of love, and that's something that I explain. That's my personal pet. Make good memories while you can. Amen. Yeah. Because I was when I was listening to Quincy Jones last night, that's what made me cry on this documentary. Um, he was talking about all the great musicians that he had come across. He said, you know what? Ray was my buddy. He said, I called Ray, man, what's up, man? Ray Charles. Said, yeah, Ray, and Ray Charles. He said, I can't pick it. He said, I, he had, like, when he was putting together the African American History Museum, when he was putting that together, he was saying to his people, did y'all get in touch with Cole? And the man said, well, yeah, I called him, but he didn't answer. So he takes his phone out of his pocket. I know you're a young man. Hey, Cole, this Quincy, man. I need you for this program. You know what? Well, for the okay, uh, we need you to be on the program. Uh, thanks, starts at 7. Okay, man, thank you so much. He had Colin Powell's phone number in his cell phone where he could just pick it up and call. And so Ray Charles, he said, look, all these, but I can't call Ray no more. Mm -hmm. Ray is gone. I can't call. I can't call Michael no more. Me and Michael Jackson yeah. can't call him no more. Mm. Can't call Miles no more. Miles is gone. And all these people, you know, you used to him because, but these were friends. And it, regardless of who they in are, in that same industry, when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. But as the documentary went on, it showed all of the good memories he made, not just professionally, because these people were also his personal friends. So my thing is, make good memories with the people who are important to you while you can because when they're gone you can't pick that phone up and call them no more you can't do it you can only rely on that sweet memory that you got of it and that just made me boohoo and like I said that's personal to me because I can't holler up and say Bobby what you doing you know, can't do it no more or I'm out Bobby what you want me to bring back what you want to eat for dinner can't do that no more but I got some memories honey that are second to none so that's what carries me through my days so make good memories, y'all. Good memories. All right. Yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to cry.